Hello everybody and welcome to yet more perpetual testing. Today we appear to be entering yet another science fair of yesteryear, which has a rather bizarrely green and thick foggy kind of atmosphere going on in here. Combined with the music that just started up, this one's kind of creepy. This is Swing with the original puzzle design by Hugo B. Designer and the very interesting the atmospheric hammerization by Critfish. This map was also recommended by Cars13579, so a big thank you to all of them for this one. Uh, oh, hold on, we've got some important rememberage to do. Do not leave your belongings here, loiter for more than 20 minutes, touch the glass, do! Wear a shirt and shoes at all times. Well, luckily I don't do a face cam, so you can't complain at me. Move quickly through the test track. Not forget to not touch the glass. I need some glass. I need some glass. Oh, it's out of reach. Okay, we'll touch it when we can get to it. Just, just because we can. Right, uh, what science have we actually got to do in here? I do like this atmosphere. It's got sort of a ye olde London town kind of fogginess going on inside here. Except there's no urchins trying to mug me for my shoes. Where was I going with that? Past life regression. Uh, where's the actual science that we can get into? There is some Fizzler and Ramp here. Ramps make sense because if I recall, this is a speed gel track through ye olde Fizzler into a single panel here. Well, that clearly wants some gel for going in that kind of direction. Uh, that's where we came in. We do have some stairs we can use here. Everything else appears to be across a rather large gap. This just takes us into here, but without a Fizzler in the way. Some more glass to try and touch up there. Right, so everything else, everything else is actually across a big gap over here, full of ye old deadly deadly goo. Not everything's ye old. Not getting mugged for your shoes. That's not old. Go to London, you can still get mugged for pretty much anything these days. Except your chances of getting stabbed are much, much higher. Um, I want to go over there, right? That's where literally everything appears to be, so panel over there. We have access to this one panel past the fizzler, access non-fizzler wise by this set of stairs. Across to this, this gets us over to here. We have an interesting ramp arrangement and cross panelage going on here. Uh, up there, up there is a panel, so we can get up there easy enough. And arrows indicating, hey, you, you should, you should probably go this way. Which would make sense because everything else appears to be that way, including a button. Anything else? Uh, clearly, get up there. There is another panel up there for our exit kind of area. But it is blocked. It is blocked by something you don't actually all that often see blocking a panel in this game. Definitely, definitely does not let me through, right? Even if Shell sucks it in, we still can't make it through that giant gap. Okay, fine. Uh, let's start doing stuff we can do then, which is basically only you for the moment. We can get up into there, take us through to the next area of science on this level. Another set of stairs. Ah, some glass. Finally, some glass that we can... Grind on till our heart is content. Don't grind it on glass, especially if it's broken. Just rub yourself on it if it's nice and solid. Uh, we've got a panel here. This panel here is connected to nothing because it's a panel. However, there is a gel delivery tube directly above it of the speedy variety. Activated by you. Get a nice coating there. And as is per tradition with a gel-based map, I am now going to go and put the gel absolutely everywhere that I can see to do so. So let's put a portal there. That chucks a nice load of it out that side. I'm thinking already that crossway of panels, gels and ramps is going to be pretty important. So let's get a good coating of the speedy stuff onto that. Like so. Nice bit of coverage going on there. You, I don't know if you need gel, but you exist and therefore you're going to get covered with it. Or at least the floor directly underneath you is. That's quite a heavy flow, isn't it? That's not your usual clean stream of the gel. That's rather messy, in fact. In fact, if I just stay on here, that might slowly encroach the whole room. Probably, probably not part of the test, though. Is there anything else to cover with gel? There was that one panel all the way over there, which we got no chance of hitting from here at the moment. Uh, and to do so, to do so means we can't get at any of the things we need to do so, right? So what can we actually do now, then? Yeah, clearly this, this is an important speed gel multipass kind of area, right? Guess what I watched this weekend. Uh, let's do you and you, though, because that, I'm guessing, should be more than enough speed gel track to do... Yeah, yeah, 
I mean, slightly butter clenching at the very last moment there. That does in fact get us back to this side. So yes, that crossway multi-pass of gels, panels and ramps. Very important. I mean, there's not a lot else going on in here, so yeah, probably very, very important. Can we do anything else? We need gel here. Uh, I want gel basically on anything that looks like a ramp. So if we go ahead and put you back on there, we can come back to this side. Uh, you're not going to be enough for me to get up there though, are you? We do that. No, it's, it's tauntingly close. Tauntingly close enough that I'm going to try it with a little jump at the very, very end. But I'm guessing that is not for me to do. No, that is clearly not for me to get back up that way without discovering some sort of clever science to make it happen. Uh, it would be enough, though, with the same thing we did to get across that way, wouldn't it? If we use the ramp as a bit of floor, because technically it is floor, just raised a little. That should, yeah, that's plenty to get up here. Is there any reason for this to be speedy? Does that let me jump to that ramp? Almost. Again, almost close enough that I'm going to try it again with a little hop. Also, I like the fact that we can see ourselves as we cross over here. Uh, I want to go up that way again. Now I'm going to slide off of these a lot, aren't I? Was there any reason? Was there any reason to make that bit of floor up the top there nice and speedy? I'm guessing no. But that's never stopped me trying anything before. It's so close. It feels like that could be enough to get you onto there for like extra speed, but probably not. So. What can we do then? I want gels over that side of the world. Uh, for gels to be over that side of the world, we need a way back and forth to that side of the world with leaving a portal up there. I definitely can't go that way. The only way to get over there for now then is this, right? So let's go leave a panel over here again and try and find something we can actually do with that. We put the orange on here. If this was nice and speedy, that would definitely be enough to go up here. But getting that nice and speedy is actually the problem at the moment, isn't it? So how can I get up to you from there? Can we leave a portal on you? Find a way to get back over there or up there. Uh, that's not enough with just the two. Just the two is probably most certainly going to kill me. So not that. Um, you're the only other panel I can see and we can't use you at all. So that probably just needs gel coming out of it onto that ramp there at some point. I need a way back into everything up there. We can walk back up here. So what if we do you and you? Come up onto this edge, fling up into... I didn't want to go this way, I wanted to go entirely the other way. Yeah, that's going to be an issue as well, remembering which way on that multi-pass track is the way I actually want. Uh, I wanted to go up into there, so from here would make a lot more sense. To you, fling me up into this bit, more than enough launch that way. So how can I leave panel on you, maybe? But that's not going to be enough because that's only going to be two through this way, right? Yeah, that's certain death. Um, is that a drop? Well, there was no panel on the floor, was there? So that's not a drop I can make use of. What's the trick then? There's something... This was recommended as being easy, by the way, but it's a Hugo B designer map. So that's more like Nerima, medium to hard. Um... There's a trick. There's a clever, clever Hugo trick hidden in here somewhere that I will remain oblivious to for a while. That's a big gap. I also can't squeeze through there. Luckily this time. Um, trick, trick, trick. What's the trick in here? Is gravity the trick? Hold on. Like that and then, yeah, but better than that. That but better. Is that the trick? Is gravity the trick? Have I accidentally scienced? Yeah, if we line that up better, that, that should totally work, right? I just need to do that, but better. Um, which would actually mean going that way would make more sense. No, we do need to get back across there. So yeah, this way. Let's try that again then. 
Line up, speed gel, flick, spinny thing, and yeah, that, but a lot better than that. Hey, we can go down here. Okay, where did you quick save me? You quick save me here before I got around to painting anything. Okay, let's paint stuff again. Yeah, I think I found the trick. It's gravity based, right? It's a fling for momentum counts as speed absorption, which makes no sense. But you get what I mean, because you saw me try to do it. So let's paint everything we can again. Probably don't actually need up there painted, but I will probably do it anyway. So you, let's go rearrange the portal arrangement on the multi-pass section by going there. Then put some more gel so the other side is coated as well. And what do I actually need to leave here this time? Just you, right? And then, not you, I need the one that we had previously, which is you. Don't think there's any point in actually covering this. Slightly stained, which would suggest maybe, but maybe not. Let's just try and pull this thing off. Uh, let's quick save here, because this is probably going to go wrong a few times. So up onto the very tippy edge of here, like so. And attempt to do a 90 degree spinny trick thing here. Why isn't that giving me the momentum I want? Yeah, it's definitely that, right? It's got to be that. So what am I doing wrong? It chucks me more than high enough. So up. And then there. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Cool. Okay. We have discovered the Hugo B Designer Ultra Clever Trick. Basically, we're going to use gravity as part of our speed gel track. Uh, that means I should quick save here. Uh, we can go ahead and put an orange in this side now and coat everything in here. That'll give us the speed gel track we want this side. Double check what color. It is in fact orange. Through to this side. Let's get some gel going in there. Like so. Uh, I can see it. I like the fact that this map is designed where I can see all the things I'm doing. That should probably have coated everything nicely that way. And is that going to be enough for me to fling up to the top there? So that... Not quite. Because I am probably doing something wrong. Basically, if anything ever goes wrong in what should be a simple manoeuvre, it is bound to be my fault. Maybe I do actually have to do it the speed from that side as well. Try once more here, and if not, we try and do it again, but better. Yeah, okay, let's do it again, but better, which means we do actually need you as well to get that little bit of extra track going. So come replace the orange into this area, like so. Do that, go up onto the ramp again. Yeah, I was right, this thing, very, very important. Uh, like so, that's more than enough, gets us up to the top side here. We've got another ramp that's blatantly going to need some more of the speed gel. You, which we couldn't get through before, but uh, for speed gel delivery. Another not loitering 20 minutes sign. I'm okay for the moment, I think. And a single panel up here. And nothing else. Okay, um, so speed gel up here. Speed gel up here via some sort of clever maneuver involving gravity over there, yes? Let's do that then. We need to get back over to that side. Uh, I can use you and the one on the floor. Can I do the gravity thing here, but launching that way? And have I got good enough coverage there? So I'm just noticing this big blank spot to launch that way via the clever trick. So if we've got uh, orange up there, let's put the blue there. Let's do this maneuver in midair. Is it? Is it? Is it? No, I, I don't have enough coverage there. I need to fill in that one tiny little spot there, which for some reason I have managed to not cover properly this time. So you, like so. Nope, 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 nope. Don't need quite that much speed just there yet. Uh, we're going to go this way, actually, aren't we? That makes a lot more sense. Up into here, let's get a bit better coverage going on there with an orange on you again. Like so, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully that's filled in a bit better over there now. Yeah, probably. Uh, we want to get back over to the top bit up that side. To get back over to the top bit over that side, we've got to do the launchy thing in there again, which means I need to technically actually go in there again, right? Yeah, with this panel here. So through to this one. 
then use the ramp here like so mid-air 90 degree spinning gravitational maneuver with speed gets us back over here then let's leave the wait no I gotta do the thing over there again right so we need to move the orange onto you Uh, use this track, but not that way. Use this track, but this way to launch us all the way back up onto this bit. Then from up here, we're going to go ahead and put... Does it matter what for the moment? Uh, does it matter what for the moment? We want to leave... We go that way this time, don't we? So, wait, how do we go that way this time? What have I done different to last time? And where are any of my portals? They're all gone because we went through a fizzler. So you and you come through to this side, swap the blue onto you, go up to here, right on the very, very edge, mid-air 90 degree spinny thing gravitational speed jump up to here, leave the orange where it is over there, blue goes onto here, right, uh, that lets us get gel over into this side if I actually get out of the loop. There you go. We get gel over to this side. To get gel over to this side, I technically want the gel to come out of you. But then I can't go back to press the button, so it has to be done via you. Which means let's get the blobs of the gel to do one of those sky dance things. You know what I mean. Go into here. Uh, that should be coming out of the floor vertically the other side up there somewhere. Which we can just about see through here. If we give it a few moments to get a nice bit of verticality going, and I go over there quickly now and move the orange to the one panel that we can't go through, like so, where the fuck am I? I'm there, there. Yeah, that, right? And then is that going to be enough launch for me to get up to here now? If not, let's hope this quick save is in a good place. Is that enough launch to get me up to there? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, not as complicated as I was expecting, but granted, it did say it was easy in the description, which is unusual for a Hugo B designer map. Normally they take me a hell of a lot longer. That was Swing, original puzzle design by Hugo B designer, with hammerization and fogginess by Critfish, and recommended by Cars13579. So a very big thank you to all of them. If you would like to recommend a map for me to try and play, then please go ahead and do so. And until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, remember, if you're visiting ye old London town, or even modern London for that matter, there's a very high chance you're going to get mugged. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.